you think of this tractor? I lent you for a few months, Thomas. <laughs> How good do you <laughs> boys are you? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no, it's... Well, when we caught up with Hagel, uh, it was finishing off the wheat, wasn't it? Yeah, we, we were doing it. We finishing off a bit of wheat. And when we were out that last day, Gary got this first run in this beautiful 939 that um, that we're working along with you and fitting on. Um, I think it's fair to say that she's not going back. Like you, have, you don't want her back. You've said you're keeping her. We have a 939. It's what four year old, five year yeah. old now. Yeah. But this is. A and step. she's the green one. The green one. And we dynoed her. Remember? Yeah, her we dynoed her. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. And she is a pair of brilliant tractor, but they just have. Perfected. It's hard to think, but they've perfected them even more. There's more grunt in it. There's, there has to be more power in it. And but even comfort-wise and everything, it's the next to none, you know. We wanted to see the 939. What really this tractor can do. We know it can handle a. I don't know what weight it is, but a cross chaser bin with these. I mean, you can still see that it's done all the chasing this year. But we put. We actually at the end of the season, we put the bin and the tractor across the Weybridge. What would you say? Empty. Empty. 32 ton. 27. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I did the weight plug on. No. 27 ton and we've had 36 ton of grain in it. We're on the 8 for very wet Cavernon plow. I don't know an awful lot about these plows. We tried a wee bit with the 47 over in England. Definitely slightly different ground. It's actually harder ground out there that time, but that was ground that hadn't been broke in. But that's true. That's just. But we're playing what? 10 kilometres an hour, 1700 revs, 8 furs at 16 eight inches. 8 furs, 16, 16 inch wide, probably plowing 9, 10 inches deep. And you're. And it's, it's, it's tight. It is. Ground this year is actually it's dry, but it's quite tight. It's gone hard. And. Are you, are you at your limit though? Have you more in this tractor? Or are you just left? Oh, if I, if I turn up the revs and put her at it. Okay. So you have the revs mapped? I, the... I have the revs maxed out, 1750 kind of stuff maxed out. Now, I can turn up to 2000 and turn up the speed and forward. So she's she's trying to maintain 10 kilometres an hour at all times, yeah, exactly. using the least revs and diesel possible to do that. Yeah. Hence, yeah. at the minute, she's 1680, 1670. Yeah, she doesn't she... need the full 1750. No, no. And she'll only slow down. Whenever she gets to 1750. Basically, yeah, yeah. You can set them there to do anything speeds, kind of the aggressiveness. Very, very good. But 400 horsepower, if you do put the revs flat out and try and push it down too far, all you do is break behind you. That's <laughs> realistically, and that's, we don't want to do that. You have the big boards in your place? We have number nines on, on all our plays. We run a, a five sod. Two sixes and um, and the eight. And Five, they're all two sixes and an eight, and they're all number they're nine. They're all boards. number nine board bodies. They're all the the high leg. Uh, and I see there's no disc. Not on this one. The rest of them there is. I don't know why there's not. They're on the back disc and the rest. It's just one. yeah, and you, just on the back disc. Yeah. There's no like as you can see there. There's no need for it. Is this physically the same stature as a nine three six? Yes. I think the nine three nine generally comes on a, on a higher tire, higher wheel. Oh. So I think that's the main, if you're... What's now, on you these? You can also get them... We're in a full set of trolley birds, but they're 7, 10, 75, 42s. Yeah. Or 70s. Um, I don't know. It's your tractor. You tell me what's on it. Can't remember what way I ordered it, Thomas, now, <laughs> when I think back. 650. 34s on the front. 65, right. 34s on the front. Uh, I really do think the 9 Series Fent has... This size of a thing. So yeah. I know. Well, funny. I, I would know be they're saying the higher end of the scale as well. I would be saying that about that two fifty. Yeah. I would say it's the it's one of the first tractors John Deere have brought out that has the correct power to weight ratio. Maybe one of the best power it'll to weight ratio. It'll have the power. To, yeah. I do think so. Because I think it, like before this, all the big tractors like your eight series John Deere and your. And your T8 and your Hollands or any of the big New Hollands and all that, and even your Magnums in your case, they're all big, heavy, heavy tractors. And it's only now that they're actually 
joining in with the whole Vario gearbox in the bigger tractors. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. She's feeling it. <laughs> yeah, but, but then, it's so much nicer there too. <laughs> yeah. Here she's working. I know this play will make it makes anything work. It really does. Is it a necessity or is it too big or is it just right there? No, it's it has its place. We've got a lot of smaller fields that you wouldn't bother going into with it. But we have the gear that we can pick and choose which fields anything well, goes. Realistically, what's a good day's plowing? Two six sods in a long day will plow 100 hours or 100 acres. Will it? Yeah. 50 acres each. That's two, that's long days, big but fields. In good fields, yeah. And that there, is that common in, but you know, was that getting that'll, 60? Oh, that'll, that'll do the, the little bit extra. Well, you'd be surprised once you get a long field where you, you can make your ground. doing something that um, I suppose over in England when we were over with Alec he wasn't doing but there is a reason for it you're reversing back there just that wee bit at the start but you're trying to bear in mind you have a six fur plow technically working here yeah as well. we generally work with a six furrows and the only reason it's not working here at the minute is <laughs> we brought a tractor to put on it stay there see it when it lifted you no problem on it no problem you're a dear man I know we're going to try I the... I can't get away Get out of this and into that. <laughs> I'll have a go, don't worry. <laughs> There's, uh, I could do a drive on my tractor at some point, you know. <laughs> but we've brought down the John Deere 250R. We know Thomas is a mad fan of the deer. Um, we know Country Crest has swung him a wee bit towards the fin uh, since his time here. But his time in America, he was deer to the absolute core. Deer to the bow. Yeah. And I think deep down in he still is, so both Thomas and myself are curious to see how the 250R does on the 6 fur. We may, may, for a laugh, put it onto this here and just see, can it make a shape at it at all? We just I, don't I know. I have faith. You have faith? I have faith. Oh, good, it won't you pull do. it as quick? No, no. But it'll pull it. See a plow in the air. The 250 has challenge one complete. It has lifted it up in the air. There should be no issue at all. Like once it lifts it, it'll pull it. the 250R. There we are, gallons per hour. It's less. Yeah. But it's doing less. <laughs> it's a good bit less though. Yeah, as long as they're on you. You were up at uh, you were up 50, 15 50, meters. Just over 50 meters. That's 10 gallons, she's at 8. She know, she's on, a, she's on a par. Probably yeah. if you work it out. Yeah, yeah. No. Inside the cab, what's your general thought? You wouldn't have the space of the fent, the big fent. Yeah. But you don't need everything's everything's there. You're coming, you're in your workspace, you know what I mean? Similar to the fent. You're in your workspace. There's enough room. Seats back fully. My legs are stretched out. Seats not banging. That's one little PP to have in your hall. Oh sorry. Is put the seat back fully. Yeah, should mind. Yeah, it always hits them. Even on the 315. It's just. You see, for me to get comfy in the 315, I had it always bring the arm yes. forward. Yeah. But no, 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 listen, it's, it's called like. You're working there. You may as well be home, as I said before, you may as well be at home sitting in the couch. Just, just, just this is interesting. I'm looking at the fuel now. So I've pulled you back down in the revs.
hasn't really made any difference to no, you. No, she jumped slowly. She could just do that other half ton hanging out in the front of her now. Uh, if that would be the only thing if you're doing this every day. Just if you get into a field with ruts, you're crossing ruts and stuff like that, that's yeah. where the trouble, is, yeah, trouble lands, lands, lies. No, she's she's pulling that at her, at her ease. So she is. left in her those are nerves. Yep. A little bit, yeah. If you give her more revs you just go and start bursting. Oh she's drinking a few more, but then you're well up in the speed. But it's a seven eight hundred now. <laughs> she's drinking diesel now. <laughs> <laughs> she's pulling. She's looking. She's into the. She's gone by it 100. percent She's into the boost. Ah, but then that's where you need her. She's working. Thomas, are we going to have to try this play on it? <laughs> Aren't we? We've seen enough to try this play on it. Haven't we? Yeah. I make a phone call now. <laughs> Daddy don't be excited. With the 6250R handling the 6 fur plough with ease, a little bit light in the nose, but that can be sorted. We had to have a go on the 8 fur and see just how close it could come to the Fint 939. What do you reckon? Eight furs, John Deere 250R. <laughs> it's ambitious. Finn's pulling what? it all day long, happily. 10 kilometres an hour, 10 kilometres an hour is what, 6.2 miles per hour ish, there, thereabouts. We're aiming for what, four, four and a half miles an hour, would that be a good? Okay, we'll set it for five and see what she's. And then we'll see what she can do. <laughs> You'd done her set at 1750 revs. Yeah. Is that 1750? No, it is 1400. Oh, 1750. We had a pour, we had a, no, we had a pull in a 1400. Aye, the 6 for? Yeah. That's 1750. And that's there. 1750, which realistically is what the Fint was at. Yeah. But we let her do her own thing. Oh, aye. Oh, just just kill her. Oh, aye. Kill her first, do I? Man, something doesn't look right. <laughs> Rolls reversed. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the moment of truth. This is. If ever there was a moment of truth, this is it. Now it is going to just take a minute to get a set. Don't you be killing this now, Thomas. I know deep down you're a green man. I know you're a green man. I need you to be a green man. I need you to do this. That you're proud to be a green man. No problem. Are you listening to me, Thomas? She doing well. Hey, right, where was six point probably six point four, wasn't it? Six point two. Six point two. And that's at her own revs. So. so let's say seventeen fifty. Six point two. I'm losing a little bit more these, but not much. Very little. What way those tires are grabbing? Seems to be doing a good job. Ah, <laughs> a 
I'm a wee bit blown away here. I wasn't expecting that, Thomas. Were you? Neither was I. Not that good, no. You're very chuffed, Garrett. I am delighted. <laughs> I actually am delighted. I'm delighted to see the bend in the plow. She's running at exactly no, the same diesel as the Fint was. She is, yeah. Maybe less. 50 litre 50. She rarely hits 50. Maybe yeah. the clock stops at 50. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous, no? I don't know, but that's it. To be able, never mind the diesel. She's pulling it the same as the other, as the other thing was, same rev, same. She might be back at a tiny bit of speed, but. For a She's on for a lot, old boy. 100 miles per last thing. Yeah, she's making that horsepower And she's work. not... No, she's not hunting at the ground. No, she's not like... She's not she's firing off, anything Stick off the death load, yeah. Hey, go on ahead, stick off four-wheel drive. Two-wheel drive. Ah, she's feeling it now, I right? Ah, but she's moving. Stick the two-wheel drive, four-wheel, just the death on. Now you might want the auto. Just the diff on. Four wheel drive. Ah, oh, there's the difference. 